another video of Yoda Raven. Before I start today's video, I just want to say what's up to my new subscribers. Uh, last month I had about 5 subscribers and now I have about 46. It's not a lot, but it's still kind of dope to uh, have a lot more subscribers than I had last month. Um, so I want to apologize for not uploading for about a month and a half or two. Um, I was back home in Hawaii. But now I'm back and I did bring back some goodies uh, for Raven here. Here I got a license plate frame. And then when I got back, I got I got her tinted. I matched the back to the front, which was 20%. And then I got the top of the windshield. Got a uh, cool sticker, Raise on Rice. Another license plate frame that says shoots right there. Yeah, so for today's video, we're going to be installing this Rattle Rack crossbars. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below. I believe it's about $320. Um, so not not that expensive um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to install it today so before we go ahead and install the roof rack I just want to show you guys what it comes with it comes with two of the crossbars the longer ones gonna be for the front the shorter ones gonna be for the back it comes with four of these legs right here and then the base and it also comes with four of these and then a bunch of hardware so for the hardware um, the allen key bolts uh, connects the base to the car and then these hex bolts connect the legs to the base. And then lastly, these little fill-up guys go in here under this strip. It goes in that hole and connects the uh, actual crossbar to the legs right here. So the way I have it laid out right now is the way it's going to mount onto the car. So like for this base... It says front right with an arrow pointing towards the front of the car. And then this one says um, rear right. And then this one says rear left RL. And then FL which is front left. Just uh, make sure the arrow is pointing towards the front of the car. First step, what you want to do, come over here. I'm short so I need to step on that. Uh, first step what you want to do you have these covers right here which they have a little hole right there for a flat head get a flat head and then uh, pry these covers off so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so I took out all the covers for all four of the corners and then next step I grabbed the front right base with the allen key bolt and I'm just gonna put it right on there and then hand tighten it with this tool that they provided and then do that to each side. All right, so I got four of the bases on now. And then before I mount up the crossbars, I'm going to have to grab these Phillips screws and then connect the actual bar to the legs. Here I have the Phillips screws installed. And again, uh, just hand tight. Don't go too crazy and over tighten them. Finally, we can mount it up to the car. And then use these hex bolts right here that also come with uh, two of the washers. Front one pit skid. Sick. And then the last step, grab the hex bolts, put it into that hole, hand tighten them down. Alright, just tighten down the last bolt. Now to uh, throw these covers back on. Boom! Covers are on. Everything looks good. Just uh, remember not to over tighten everything. Just hand tight and you should be good. So here's a interesting thing to show you in the instructions. So it shows you things that you can and cannot do with these roof racks. So my plans is to have a rooftop tent on my RAV4. So there's that right there. 
Um, if you get a hard shell, they recommend that you run a three bar system. It shows you the weight limits right here. So two bar, 220 pounds, off-road 145, three bar, 220, off-road 220. <laughs> guys so that's gonna be the end of the video I uh, hope you enjoyed it this installation was super easy um, the reason why I didn't go with the OEM roof racks is because I'm gonna get a rooftop tent in the future and the OEM only supports up to 160 pounds and then as you saw in the instructions for these runner racks they support up to 220 pounds um, so yeah that's the reason why I got that and the reason why I didn't get a Prinzu or a Victory 4x4 is because um, that with shipping and tax comes out to be around under like a thousand dollars, but I'm not about that. Um, I'm pretty much like on a budget with this build. So yeah, that's the reason why I didn't get those roof racks. All right, my bad. My camera ended up dying. Um, but what I was saying was, uh, if you're stumbling across this video randomly and you own RAV4, uh, this is pretty much all I post about is, uh, installation videos to go and camping in the near future with my RAV4. So yeah, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Shoots, have a good one guys.